Hello. Today we start working on Ashley. A while ago I put this red tent on it. And it's going away. It looks horrible. It's not really red anymore. So let's take off this. Oh, what a nightmare. The glue is getting stuck. It's not even red. This sucks. Who would have thought? Yeah, if you look at it. Oh my goodness, this is awful. It's <laughs> a little bit red. Ta-da. Not very happy with the glue. And then this side, I will not take the tape off. Instead, I'm putting in this new baby. I swap them. Ew. Dude, that is incredible. I miss this so much. What we're doing is taking the coilovers and the rear adjustable upper arms. Wheels are off, car's jacked up. And now, take out those two nuts. Dude, these things were loose. I'm gonna try to do this one by hand. Oh my, dude, they were loose already. That's awful. Both nuts are off. Next is this upper control arm. So first I'm gonna start by undoing this big old. There you go. Good that I put any shoes on it a while ago, so it's like not stuck. That coilover is rusty, but you gotta undo that guy. If I remember correctly, the previous owner did anti-seize it. So, coming right off. Gonna be here a while. Basically done now. Dude, always use anti-seize. It's amazing. And now coilover should be able to just drop. Okay, we got one of them out. Put this in place so that I don't forget. Next is undoing these guys to get the control arm off. I want this adjustable control arm for the Mazda speed. It's probably hard for you to see, but I'm taking off a bolt and nut setup, holding on to the upper control arm. So I have a wrench on one side and then my, then my Milwaukee impact ratchet. <laughs> And it came out like butter because I use anti seize. Always use anti seize. What you can do is grab the wrench, put on the bolt, and just pull it out. Well, after a lot of messing around, oh my goodness, this thing was loose. There you go. Upper control arm is free. Oh, there you go. I can have a bunch of camber still, or have no camber at all. We got the BC coil out. So, I painted some of the rust. Now it looks better. And here's Martha's old suspension. The Tanyan Advanced Z. I'm gonna lower it a little bit more. I still have a little bit of more thread left. I want it low because these are 15 inch and I want these 15 inch to look right. So, let's lower her a little more. One side is done. Now doing the last side. So for the rears, what I do, I just max them out. This bottom collar, you have to make it go all the way down to the threads. Just like this one. You can't go any lower. All right, all coilovers are adjusted. The rears are maxed out as low as they can go. Fronts, I lowered them about two, three wrenches. I just measured it like that. But I'm happy with that. Upper arm is on there. Not fully bolted, but it's in. Now I'm on to this part. So, coilover's out. Got the tie rod loose. Look at that. Now I'm gonna use my bar joint tool to blow it out. Oh, doesn't wanna blow out. Must be very rusty. You see how it works? It lifts the knuckle up and it's forcing the tie rod down, causing it to separate. It can get really tight and it can make a loud bang. Oh my. 
In real life, that was pretty loud. There you go. Now, it's free. I can loosen this, loosen the nut. Ow! Great. All right, well, there you go. Tie rod is free. Next is, we've got to undo the lower bar joint and the upper control arm. Get this out. There you go. Now we're going to do this. Upper control arm, I loosened the nut. Now it's time to make an explosion. Get your handy dandy tool. Another way you can do it, which is the, the old school, like the normal way. Get your hammer, smack the knuckle. The vibration from the knuckle will make cause it to break loose. I don't feel like hammering it and spending however long it takes. It might not take long, or it could. Depends. Hopefully it doesn't just shoot at you guys. Oh, that wasn't so bad. Just a little baby poop. Now I'm gonna do the blow bar joint. Before I even try, I'm gonna grab my brake fluid and put it in there. In, in case you guys don't know, it's a better lube than WD-40 and PB Blaster. It's gonna steer. Yeah, put your tie rod on. Now the way I do it is I give it a solid kick. Hopefully it breaks it loose. There you go. Got it going. Holy shit. Got it. Wow. Well, guess what? We won. Oh, yeah. All right, get ready for a big boom. This is the one you guys been waiting for. There was one time when I was doing this, and when I was tightening it, it didn't go boom. It shot this. Scared the crap out of me. It, it was just scary because it went by so fast. Oh Are you guys okay? Now I tighten the lower ball joint. I'm taking these ball joints because these are extended ball joints and it adds a little camber. Loosen the nut. Oh man. Oh wait. Forgot there's another bolt on top. Yes, it is a 17 as well. Ah. Now I got to do. Now I finish it with the ratchet. Ta da. Now I'll put these in place so I don't forget how they were. Look at that. And then tomorrow we'll put on the knuckle. Right now we just don't have a ball joint. We got the car jacked up. Lug nuts are loose. Let's take off the wheels. Okay. Let's undo that coil over. So bolt there. Two nuts up there. Okay. Upper control arm is out. Coil over is off. Look at that. Now we put these beautiful babies in. So let's swap them. Oh, and before I swap them in, always use your anti seize I'm using copper because I care about this car. Okay, all tightened up. I put anti seize on the bolts. I Yeah, I put anti seize on almost everything. Even that bolt down there, I painted it so it doesn't get too rusty. One rear is done. Let me put the wheel on. A whole nother day later. All right, let's take off the front wheel and start undoing that suspension. Okay, so far, we got the outer tie rod loose, ball joint nut is out. Now we're gonna do the shock bolt or the shock mountain bolt. So far, everything's been coming off pretty easily. <coughs> Not bad. Wow, came out pretty good. Dude, shout out to no rush. That's sick. But I'm pretty sure whoever did this did it backwards because this bolt will not come out now because as soon as it comes off, it'll hit the inner tie rod. Alright, outer tie rod is out. Now I can take out this shock bolt. 
Well, there it is. We're gonna put any shoes on it. After hell, finally got it out. This thing is just long. That spring isn't really, it doesn't compress too much and it's very soft. I got it out. God, what a nightmare. But look at that. That one should pop in a lot easier. It's all in, all together. New BCs, I painted over there because it was a little scratched. I don't want it to rust. Put any shoes on everything down there. New tie rod is on. I left it loose because I still need to do a, need to do a little DIY alignment. But let's put the wheels on. Okay, all jacked up. Put the wheels on. Let's drop it and see what the end results look like. All right, so jack it up. Let's see what happens. Okay, there you go. Not bad. Hey, look, the wheel's like in. Oh, yeah. Right now it's not that low because on wood, so we've got to roll it back. But finally, one side is done. And here, you got to put one one coil over in there. And same thing here, we've got to add the coil overs. Today, dropping the top hatches onto the tans. These don't have a top hatch, we're stealing these. So, let's undo that. Let's see what happens. Oh my god. Not bad. There you go. And now we just tighten it. That's fine. And look at all that spring play. Uh, low life. Okay. Now we pop her in. I suck at filming, but both of the wheels are on in the front. Got the coilovers and everything's tightened up. The control arms are all there. This wheel, I sanded it because I used to have a bunch of curb rash and some dents. Now all I gotta do is paint the lip, and this wheel is luckily fine. The coilovers are all in, you can't really see. The coilovers are in, calipers look fucking sick, such a clean combo. But okay, now we drop it. It's been lowered, and dude, that is not bad. I'm pretty happy with that. And the suspension still has to settle in, so it might go a little lower, but... I like that. That's clean. It's lower ball joint time. Probably can't see shit, but impact driver. Ready for a big boom. Holy shit. Oh my god. Not bad. Okay, we got the knuckle out. That coil has been out. Next is the lower ball joint. And I think that tie rod. Let's do it. I hope you're able to see, this is the bolt for the little control arm, and then this one at the top. The top of the lower bar joint bolt is loose, and it is now off. And now the bottom one. There you go. Lower bar joint is out. We got everything out of here, got everything out of Effie. We got the BCs there, the cut knuckles there, and how to tie up, you know, miscellaneous stuff. Now, time to jack up this one. Put this in the air, take everything off over here. Lugging us to loosen. Now I put the jack. <sighs> Sometimes, low life is the struggle. Uh, you guys want to know a little trick? If you can't put the jack under there, get a jack down here. And I've learned, don't jack the tow hook. This tow hook will bend. So let's jack it right there. Jack it on this piece of steel plate. And now I can start jacking her up with the low profile. And now we delete the wheel. Now, lower ball joint, outer tie rod, coil over, will be out. Okay. Hours later, BCs are in, the ball joints are in, new outer tie rod. We're good to go. 
Now all we gotta do is slap a wheel on and tighten those two nuts. Okay, so far, got the upper control arm out, the coilover's off, it was not too bad, it was pretty simple. Only thing left is, take everything out of here. The adjustable upper and the BC. Let's delete them. Okay, Mazda speed is complete. Upper control arm's on, I put a buttload of anti-seize and it's copper, copper anti-seize. It's all bolted up, everything's tightened down. I painted a few spots that didn't have paint. It, had, it just had raw metal. I don't want it too rough. So, been painted. This thing is ready to roll. Now let's slap the interior back in. There you go. Interior's all back together. Painted the bolt black. I cleaned up the surface rust. Now it looks beautiful. All in. It was missing a bolt. I added an extra bolt. Put this little shield. Not bad. And yeah, some mesh in here. It came with a couple goodies. I got the OEM blow off valve. This sweet little cup holder thing. The stock jack. The adjustable tool. Got the OEM radio. Piece of tray. You know, I got a good amount of miscellaneous stuff. Oh, no, I got this brace. I'm pretty sure it goes on the desk. Oh, and it's, it's this heat shield. But it's a blanket. But okay, let's put a wheel on and clean up this mess. Woo, not bad. It's a little tall, but I think it's because it's on the wood right now. And the other side yesterday, I was getting worried. It didn't look too low, but one day later, I think it's because the coilovers weren't settled in since it's been on Jackson's forever. That ain't bad. And if it's just right, I'm hype. That's a clean look. I love it, dude. Hell yeah. Let's finish up. Ashley. So I gotta put the upper control line, the coil over, and here, knuckle, ball joint, tie rod, and the coil over. So, I'll be done right now. I suck at filming, but upper control line is in, coil over is on, I put anti sleeves. I repaired the wheel a little bit. I sanded off all the curb rack. It used to look super bad, but now it looks a little smoother and better than before. Now all I gotta do is paint it someday. And the front is all together. Coil over, calipers painted, new outer tie rod, different ball joint, the new knuckle, and the tan advanced G coilovers. These have adjustable dampening. Pretty cool. Let's drop this car. Hello. So, all this new suspension is in and everything. All we have to do now is just do a little alignment. The beautiful Monster Speed already has the alignment done. And it feels perfect. Very smooth. Super hyped on how it came out. I forgot to film this, but here's all we did. We put a, a piece of wood there, a piece of wood on the other side. We have two measuring tapes. You put them across each other and make sure they're both even. Now this side says 72 inches. Other one has to say 72 inches. But alignment is good. It looks beautiful. That's it for swapping the suspension. Hope you guys enjoyed the video.